you guys doing? Welcome to Monday Night Nitro. Today, I have a lot of interesting things to open. There's a nitro generator right over here. I have not even fully opened it myself. We're going to be unboxing this thing together, guys, okay? We're gonna get all of the fun, all of the joy, all of the coolness in opening up something that I could almost guarantee you nobody has probably purchased other than me. But I said I was gonna buy it, I said I was gonna open it, and here it is on the table, my guys. So, let's see who we got here in the chat. I'm gonna let the stream refresh here a minute and I will say hello to everybody. I see Kellen's Automotive is in the stream. How you doing, my dude? I see Tim Raz, we got Joseph Watkins, we got channel member Dion, we got Sean Stabsky, we got Jerry Sedelki, I hope I said that right. And of course, I saw previously, Manuel Maldonado, and some other awesome people. I forgot your names, I'm sorry. If I see it again, I'll bring it up, okay? There's a ton of nitro over here, guys. I can barely move on this table, okay? I need like a three-dimensional table is what I need, okay? We got Bob's RC, Pyro Tony. Uh, oh, the Bug 404. How you doing, the Bug 404? This video, I think you might find a little bit interesting. You know, just a little bit ago, I watched the Bug 404's video on the difference between ABN and ABC motors. All of you guys, go to his channel. You're going to learn about 12 to 89 million things from watching his videos about engines. Okay, and in fact, I have basically similar engines that he talked about in his videos. There's a new one that we're gonna take a look at in this nitro generator. This in fact comes with what's known as a Toki engine. And many of you might be asking yourself, why do we have a nitro XRC right here on the table? Like, didn't I already do a video on this? What am I talking about this toy grade nitro again, right? Did you ask yourself that guys? Well, you should ask yourself because every element that you see on this table, we have premium space limitations, okay? Space is at a premium, it's at a limit, okay? This is survival of the fittest nitro type of thing going on here, evolution of the nitro game. Everything has a purpose when it's on this table, okay? Along with a 15 FE motor in a bag, that's right. This is gonna be a completely different video. This actually has no purpose. I just had nowhere to put it. But we're gonna put it to the side. There's a purpose, don't you worry. Okay. Joseph Watkins says same motor. Well, you might do, you are correct. That's right. Uh, the Bug 404 says, a lot of the 12 and 15 HPI engines are made by Toki. That is 100% nitro gain confirmed, okay? And today, this whole table is basically swarming with those engines. Oh, you know what? I'm happy with that. That kind of makes my day very nice. Okay, so I talked about this Nitro XRC a while ago. Okay, we'll take a look at the box. It's, it's kind of interesting. I'll show you guys exactly that the motor they sell today, brand new, you know, right over here in this box. I will be opening this, okay? There's a whole Nitro generator kit here. All right, the other day I was doing a live stream and, and my phone died. Okay, so basically the Electro Gang Arma Gang powered phone died, pissed me off. Uh, so we're gonna hook up this nitro generator to it when I get it going. We're gonna charge that phone, do a stream. I don't care if I have to yell super loud in the schoolyard that I normally do videos. Cause guess what? When you're doing a video, people pretty much stay away from you. Okay? I see we got Kevin Trappin in the house. How you doing, Kevin Trappin? I'm doing all right, thank you for asking. So. Let's move this to the side a little bit. Before we start talking about the main subject matter of this video, um, I actually, let me read this comment right here, it's very interesting, about this Nitro XRC. Um, but the Bug 404 says, they used to sell XRC at Walmart here in Vancouver, Canada. That is true, I've had several people tell me that they saw these Nitros brand new for sale. And guys, do you know how much these were? They were selling for about 100 32 there were there were two models one was a little more money and then there's this one which is the base model now this is probably the only time in your life you're ever going to see what's up the online hobby guy probably the only time in your life you're ever going to see a brand new 
This is about 2008. Nitro, toy grade, okay? The, the, trust me, there's a motor right over there. It's hard to see, but there's a motor, okay? There's a motor, I checked. Now, we'll go over this in a little bit, you know, just as a, another recap. This is the last time you're probably gonna see something in like new condition, never taken out of the box. It will never happen, okay? And this is some of, I would say, awesome Nitro history, you know? Um, how do you make Nitro great again? There's really only two ways. You buy more Nitros or you give somebody a Nitro if they can't afford it, okay? And soon, I will be doing that, just that on this channel. Now, the details are becoming finalized. I am working with the Nitro Gang authorities. The entire legislative branch has put together a video about the Nitro Gang giveaway. It's going to be going down soon, but I'm not ready just yet. We have other issues to discuss. Now, on top here, just a couple projects I'm working on. You know, you want to have a little bit of B-roll for the video. You know what I'm talking about? I actually don't care at all about movies. They use words like B-roll. There is no B-roll in the Nitro Gang. Everything you see here is pertinent to the video. Okay, let's see, we got uh, uh, Jason Harris, he goes, where's T-Max Tony? He's not here, my guy. The Nitro Gang is here. I'm just kidding, he might be back soon when the T-Max comes out. That's when you know someone named Tony with a slice of pizza will be around, okay? So. We got scale model concept right here. Uh, let's see. Okay, Alan Patterson. What's up? We got Melissa in the house. Okay. Let's go top to bottom one by one. We'll do eliminate one nitro on the table at a time until we work up to the main subject matter of this video. Unboxing the nitro generator. Okay. I'll show you the listing. We'll do a recap of why I bought this, how I bought this, and which kind of armors I plan to destroy with it. But first, we just gotta make sure my phone doesn't die during the stream, okay? You can't trust those lithium polymer batteries, guys. You can't do it. Anyway, um, the second part of this video, you know, in, this, in the topic here, I, I, I wrote down, uh, buying a 3D printer to make parts, is it worth it? I am highly considering buying a 3D printer during this video right now. Now, this was the last item I purchased with the Nitro Gang funds, okay? The Nitro Generator. This is just a picture I printed out. Obviously, the box did not come with a picture that I printed out from a terrible black and white printer, okay? They did not mail this to me in the mail like this. So, all I did was just open up the box a little bit. We will be uh, opening it all in a few minutes, but we're still doing a little bit of a background story going on here today. Uh, let's see. Question is, buying a 3D printer, should I buy it, and is it worth it? Now, we all have our stories about 3D printed parts, if I'm not mistaken. What's up, Michael Edgar? Some of them good, some of them basically not very good. But at the end of the day, basically all of my nitros need body posts. Okay, body posts piss me off a lot, actually, because uh, I was just looking. I need some body posts for my TC3, right? And they're about like $40, you know, you, you can't get body posts. Like that's one of the most common things to break all the time. Okay. Oh, Melissa, she has to go. It's okay. I want to say thank you for being here, you know, gracing us with your presence. You are the Nitro Gang queen and I want you to come back later. Okay. Peace out. All right. So Sarah Matthews here says it's harder than you think. That is what I'm thinking about. Um, a lot of people, you know, I, I've seen videos where people printed like 3D, 3D printed gears. Honestly, I don't know. I have my reservations. There's a lot of information on the type of filament you use. You know, I'm going to be using what it comes with, okay? I'm not a 3D printer expert. Um, I'm only a nitro expert, okay? Not as good as some people, but I would say good enough, all right? Um, yeah. Yeah, Von Boy goes here, uh, body clips are worse, especially if you uh, <laughs> lose them. So body clips are cheap at least, but there are some things that, you know, are like super disposable items. Now the thing is, body posts on nitro cars, they're, they're made to be super flexible, right? Like, let's see, we have a, a Schumacher over here, three-speed Schumacher, right? So I'm moving the body post, it's, it's quite flexible. 
Even though this is a 20 year old nitro that I'm repairing, that's why you see nothing here. 3D printed parts with the filament they come are, are not flexible. So those parts are not made to be flexible. You know, but the thing is if you drive safe enough and you're careful, you don't do a lot of flipping. If you don't try to compete with every armor, right? Um, I'm not worried about the flexibility factor. I just need the body to look like it's in position, okay? I'm not going for that, you know, top-notch performance factor here. So, but a uh, very good point. Uh, Vic Fer Ferraptor goes, you could 3D print wheels. There's a lot of things you could 3D print. I actually went just now on Thingiverse, right? They have all the files and there's basically nothing uh, for a TC3. Now, if you guys could find anything, you know, for a TC3, just for curiosity reasons, whether it could be done, I'll buy the printer. But like, I just want to print some 3D uh, body posts, okay? That's all I want. So, let's continue. Um, yeah, yeah, basically, uh, print stuff. Yeah, so ev everyone keeps thinking that you can go to, to uh, Thingiverse and print whatever, but you got to realize those files have to be available and they have to be complete and loaded. Like, we could do a search later on on Thingiverse. You, you know, I did it before. Uh, I'm relatively halfway informed on this matter. Halfway, I don't, I don't want to say fully, but halfway, right? You can't know everything. Nobody can know everything. Um, but there's basically almost nothing. So, you know, if you buy a 3D printer thinking you're going to print every single part possible, you got to understand that those parts have to be available and have already been made and loaded by somebody. Now, they do sell 3D, I guess, scanners, right? It's called a 3D scanner, but they're very, very expensive. So your cost benefit will be very low, very, very low if you're just trying to print minimal parts. Okay. Um, Sarah Matthew goes, they have flexible filament. Yeah, they do, they do. There's many types of filament. It's not just the PLA. There, there's other types, right? I, I, I agree. Question is, will the files be available? Now, let's see. Um, yeah, Pyro Tony though seems to be too much just by the post. It might come down to that. Now, you know, we could experiment with the 3D printer if, if, if like the motivation is there. You know, if people want me to experiment with it, like a realistic view. I'll be honest with you, pretty much every 3D printer video you watch, I've watched many, many of them. Um, they don't talk about how you get the files, where you get the files, what computer you need to store the files. Uh, it's nothing. It's basically you just see them printing parts and it's like a piece of cake. People probably assume that the printer comes with whatever your mind imagines and it goes directly to the printer. Well, it doesn't work that way, my guy. It doesn't work that way. And girl, okay? All right. What's up, the G and things? How you doing, my dude? Uh, we got Albert Jimenez, Monday Night Nitro. That's right. So... Um, uh, all right, let's, let's, let's continue doing what we're doing. So we're going to go one by one. What I got on the table, we'll do like an update. This is a Nitro RS4 with a couple Wolfpack upgrades. I am currently cleaning the motor. The motor is clean. You just saw it recently in a bag, right? Uh, the 15 FE motor, you cannot kill it. And it goes with the theme of this video. 15 FE is made by Toki. And you, you guys will see later on when we open up the generator, right? We're going to bust open this generator, all right? While other channels are trying to get you to buy small little crawlers, like today a video came out, title of the video, this small crawler is more than some other bigger crawler. Why is it more? Who cares? Why is this crawler more? I'll tell you why. If you take some pasta and you stick it on a crawler, what do you get? Trash. That's what you get. What do you think about that, crawler gang? I'm kidding. No one here is in that gang, actually. You're allowed to have a Red Cat Gen 8, though, by the way. Let me just say, you're allowed to have a Red Cat Gen 8 because that's actually cool. What's going on, Nitro Freak, bro? How you doing? I was looking forward to one of your live streams the other day, but, you know, I, I guess you were doing it at a different time than I was available. I get a kick out of those myself, personally. <laughs> All right. So, let's... Uh, Let's see who else we got. We got Bob's RC. Yeah. Okay. So Nitro RS4. I am filming a video on the full restoration process of this. Two-speed baby. You can't kill it. Wolfpack upgrades. This Nitro changed history. Okay. It put people into the driver's seat of the Nitro gang. Okay. Before this, you basically had like a bunch of these like Kyoshos with like weird 1980s designs. And many of them were sold as kits. Let's face it, people love kits. I understand people love kits, right? But like from a from 
a beginner point of view, let me tell you what I had to do to buy my first Nitro. Do you guys want to know the history of me and my first Nitro? What's up, the sweaty potato mayor? I see you right over here. So the history of me buying my first Nitro, I was very young, right? Got my first job getting paid $5.25 an hour in a grocery store in the produce department. Pretty much the most trash of the trash jobs you can get. It was very annoying. You had to walk into a very cold walk-in refrigerator, okay? After you unloaded like 50 boxes of tomatoes from a truck. So then, you know, uh, you will go to the hobby store. You know, you had a kit. Let's say you needed to buy an engine. By the time it was all said and done, if you were building a kit, it would probably cost you maybe double to triple. I would say triple that of a ready to run HPI or, or Traxxas at the time. So uh, money wise, if you were trying to get into Nitro years ago, the RTR was the way you were gonna do it. And today, basically everything is ready to run, right? Uh, there are some race kits, but they're all basically buggies. And people constantly tell me to get some kind of low CTLR race kit. Personally, I, I just don't care. There's, there's zero motivation for me to do that, like completely zero. If, if I can go negative on a scale, like, you know, you have natural numbers. No, hold on, you have real numbers? No. Yeah, you have natural numbers. If you go negative, well, hold on. Well, whatever, whatever the subset of those numbers are, I don't remember, this is like seventh grade arithmetic over here. Let's move on. So RS4 can't kill it. It put many people into the Nitro Gang driver's seat, so to say. Okay. Uh, Benjamin Martinez, I see you right over here, bro. How you doing? Okay, let me put this under the table, okay? Now, we have a magazine here. And we'll take a look at this later. This actually has an ad for this Nitro XRC. On top over here is a car I recently showed in the last Nitro stream. This is a Team Associated RC10 GT. Now, I talked about this the other day. Um, but for those of you that were probably watching couch potato football, cause it was like probably Sunday, right? People like to sit on the couch, uh, and watch football while they should be running rich and loud and making nitro great again, because that's the mission, but it's okay. Uh, I will forgive those of you that have, you know, I would say, um, a desire to watch couch potato sports. It's fine. I understand. We're going to talk about this RC 10 GT anyway. Okay, this is the last generation, not the, not the second model, but basically RC10 GT, not the T2. Um, the body, let me show you the body. Okay, uh, we got ourselves a Megatech M16 engine. It's pretty much awesome. There will be a video on this uh, with it getting fired up. Pyro Tony, I totally agree. Pretty much all, all types of televised sports, uh, waste of time, pointless. You're supporting overpaid athletes that have uh, really bad criminal backgrounds and usually beat up their wives, okay? So the body, let me just talk about the body. Now the body is actually very good looking, uh, but it looks like somebody tried to kill it. If I, if I show you the body this way, you could literally see through, through a bunch of stuff of the body. Look at this. Do you understand how many holes there are in this body? Even these little vent things are cut out over here. So basically, if you have a rollover, your entire roof structure is, check this out. Do, do you understand what, what is going on? Somebody tried to kill this body, okay? And they almost succeeded, okay? All of these cutouts, I gotta say, they're done very, very well. You could barely tell, like these lines are very, very straight. I've actually, you know, I've done a couple of body cutouts like in the past, but we're talking like small vent holes, and it is very hard to cut Lexan and have such perfect straight line. Um, ver very difficult. And the previous owner here really went where no RC body has won before, okay? And that is even cutting out this little top portion thing. This is just for aesthetics, guys, okay? You gotta understand, there's holes all over this body anyway, like air rushes all over. Somebody tried to kill this, okay? But on this channel, they don't come to die. They come to be talked about. They come to be memorialized and they come to be made great again. Okay, so this RC 10 GT, I'm working on it right now. Basically the other day it was pissing me off because actually all of the screws on Team Associated and Losi products, they're very, very small and they're usually SAE size. 
So I ran into a problem with SAE hardware. Um, but we'll talk about this later. No, let's get to the subject matter here at hand. I'm actually getting a little hungry. I don't know how long we're going to stay here today, but we're going to talk about what we're going to talk about. I need to get some Taco Bell later on. I'm very hungry today, okay? Just got home from work not long ago. Monday Night Nitro is a staple of the show. And I don't care how much my daytime sponsor tries to kill me, like people try to kill some of their Nitros. There will still be a Monday Night Nitro game live at all times, okay? So let's get rid of this. So I'm giving you a rundown on the current Nitro Gang activities as they are ongoing, right? Because I try to do more or less a ongoing uh, reality style television. Um, this show, if sponsored by MTV in the early 2000s, would have been better than the Jersey Shore, okay? It would have been better than the Jersey Shore. Okay, so let's get rid of this for now. All right, now the next thing, the next thing we got to talk about, let me go uh, some of these comments here. What's up, Earl Moorhead? He goes, on my way to Taco Bell right now. Well, I am jealous, bro. I might go after this video, okay? Maybe about an hour or something from now. Uh, Jacob Hamilton goes, I stopped going to Taco Bell when they did the mobile app. Dude, I don't know. What do you mean? You don't like the mobile app? Honestly, the mobile app is fantastic. I bet if I pull up my mobile app right now, there will be probably some kind of awesome promotion. And I'll tell you this, using the mobile apps, they almost never make mistakes. Like talking to them, you know, when you pull up to a drive-thru, mistakes 50% of the time, 50% of the time. Like if I ask for no ice, there's gonna be a ton of ice in a soda. Then I have to give the soda back. Then they give me a funny look, okay? I don't want those looks when you ask for no soda, then they give you a cup of freaking soda I mean, no ice with a bunch of freaking ice in it, okay? It's winter almost, and they're putting a ton of ice and they're looking at me like I'm a freak. Well, no Taco Bell server people, you're the freaks for putting tons of ice in my soda. Don't let them do that to you, all right? All right, so we're gonna look at this in a little bit. Let me move all of this to the side. So let's see what we got going on here in, in, in the app, yeah. The ice is where they get you. You gotta understand, they're giving you a bunch of basically free product to fill up about half of that cup, okay? <laughs> it ain't gonna work that way. It's like if you bought yourself a thing of three-in-one oil that you use for all of your nitro motors, right? And they give you 50% ice and 50% three-in-one oil. You're gonna be pissed off, okay? So don't let them do that to you. If you get a soda, get all of the sugar you can possibly get, okay? Just drink it slower. Okay, let's see. Um, yeah, Pyro Tony goes, he hates that too. That's right. We talk about real problems on this show, not those made up problems on fake reality TV shows where they have everything staged. We talk about the ice problem at Taco Bell. Okay, it's time guys. Um, are you ready for the Nitro Gang Nitro Generator? Um, we got a question here. Let me, let me wait for it. Jenny the Jerk. No, Vinny the Jerk. My bad. Vinny the Jerk. I'm sorry, Jerk. <laughs> he goes, is Marvel Mystery Oil a decent after run? Uh, basically, it's just a type of what they call mineral oil. Just like this. To be honest with you, get this. It's a very easy dispenser pouring mechanism. I got this about three years ago. And I have more than, more than, more than half left. This is like $6. Like, the, you're really not doing yourself a server a service by getting Marvel Mystery Oil. But if you want to use that, it's just mineral oil. It's basically all the same thing. Yeah. We got a request here from Joseph Watkins. He goes, open that some bitch up. That's right. Since this channel has basically zero kid viewers, we could sometimes curse if we want to, okay? Um, we don't promote small little cheap crawlers that are more expensive than some other crawlers, like a video that came out today does. So we can say whatever we want, whatever is on our mind, all right? I don't want you to ever be creatively stifled. You guys understand what I'm saying? Don't creatively stifle yourself with the crawler gang. All right, okay. Yeah, so I am going to, let's do this. I'm gonna take the phone and I will give you guys a very good view 
as I am opening this, okay? And actually first, let's take a look at the auction itself to see what we're expecting. You wanna do that? Let's do that. So we're gonna open this up because I understand sometimes these streams get long, I'm gonna shut up, ah, slap myself a little bit, get hyped, and then we're gonna open the son of a bitch up. All right, let's do this. So, let's get this, yeah. All right, so let me uh, first show you what we're expecting here on the computer. We're gonna go to the auction itself. So this is what we're looking at, right? That's This is everything we have in the box. Um, I paid about 150 with tax and shipping, okay? So basically it's it's a 15 engine methanol, one button start, low pressure DIY kit. Okay, so, you know, clever Chinese advertising. But let, let, let's go look at the parts that are actually included with it and then we'll, we'll take a look. So this is the motor itself. They call this the Toki engine. But in reality, you know, all that matters is there, we're gonna look at what this says on top. It's gonna say Nitro XRC. It has a normal carb. This claims to have electronic remote start, ele electric start. It has a generator. Um, now when it's built, I, I don't know if there's a picture here of it actually being built. It has its own muffler. So basically you have a magneto it looks like will be attached, electric start over here. What's up, Ryan? We're just opening up a nitro generator right over here. Some electronic devices. Let's see, there, there's just some information about it. So it says, one button start DIY generator, add methanol and input electric energy after ignition. All right, this product is a modified with 15 stage methanol engine to drive 12 to 14 low voltage generator with a spontaneous ignition system. So it's a bit, you know, it has, a, it has a good amount of specs. The, the real question is, um, how can a motor like this run at a constant RPM? Because for a nitro motor, you really need well, I mean, for generator, you need a constant RPM. Well, it looks like they have a very low RPM on this. So the maximum RPM is claimed to be 17,000, which is about half of a regular nitro motor. You know, like a, like a RC based motor in an RC. Now this particular truck, the Nitro XRC, in reality has exactly the same engine. Guys, this will blow you away. Never in life will you probably see something like this. Now you see right here on top of the cooling head, if I get in close, this is brand new, I never took it out of the box. It says Nitro XRC. What do you think about that Nitro gang? That's a glow plug right over there. Look at that little glow plug, baby. Brand new. Now this is a toy grade Nitro RC, okay? Keep in mind from 2007. But the thing is, you cannot kill it, and that's why I have it, right? Because nobody actually killed it. So they talk about here on the box, before we open this, we're doing a full investigation. So this is what they're talking about. Nitro fueled engine powered by ice. By the way, ice is actually internal combustion engine. Yep, they called it ice, baby. Not the drug. Attain speed up to 25, maximum speeds, blah, blah, blah. You need some upgrades. Ready to run or with power pack, blah, blah, you know, blah. There we go. We're not really talking about this that much. We're just making it known that the engine that it comes with is exactly the same engine that's in this box. Oh, question is, what's in this magazine though, right? What's in this magazine? So check this out. I was able to find an original ad of this exact truck in a magazine. Now, who is going to do this kind of research? So check this out. Nitro XRC joined the revolution. This is exactly the truck we have. Take a look at that, baby. You're never gonna find this. And I am extremely proud of my research. I didn't even have to use the MLA or the APA citation style for this kind of research. It says, drive it like you hate it. Uh, I, I think they're talking about the modern Arma gang uh, model. That's probably why they constantly come back with strip diffs. So we actually have the same engine. Oh, I need, I need this tab back in case I ever try to open this box. Okay. Okay, so we got we to gotta get this tab back. Okay. So guys. It's about to go down. Are you ready? I gave you probably the best background that anybody can give. I have done tons of Nitro Gang research, you know, um, took out a magazine, bought a generator, bought this whole damn Nitro on eBay about like a year ago, in the box, brand new. Okay, you can't kill it, right? Toy grade, 
but you gotta love it. So yes, Pyro Tony, the bumper does look, sh surely does look stupid. The thing is, this is a toy grade nitro, right? So they were meant for kids. <laughs> and kids are generally much dumber than adults, right? I don't wanna call kids stupid, but based on the amount of information a kid generally knows, you could make the argument that they are in fact less smart than an adult. Get it? That's a joke. All right, so check this out guys. So we got the box right over here. I basically just opened the top right because uh, yeah, I was excited. I, I didn't really even take it out of the box at all, but we're gonna do it together. Okay, Eddie Chan goes, what kind of regulator do you use? So we're gonna take a look at it, okay? I honestly don't even know. So I can see your guys' comments right over here on the video and also as I'm uh, doing this right over here. Yep, Manuel Maldonado goes less smart than Scott Steiner. Well, I don't know, Scott Steiner's math is, is very, very advantageous in certain situations. You know, uh, sometimes you also have a Sid Vicious math where he says that he is about half the man of what you are, and then he is proud of his statement. You guys understand what we're talking about? This is a uh, wrestling related humor, okay? All right, Kevin Trappin, Pyro Tony, everyone in the chat right here. We are going to be taking a look at the Nitro Gang generator. This is everything that I'm expecting in the box. So this picture I printed out from the actual auction itself. It's gonna be going down. Now I'm doing this live, so you know we could all enjoy it. I could have done this as a standalone video, but we're not gonna do that because we don't run out of material. We don't go to skate parks every time to break armors. We buy stuff, we review stuff, and then we make other stuff great again. So, we got nothing here, so, right? Okay, so it looks like we got, the first thing I can see is this little muffler. So, you know, as expected, as it said in the auction listing, I saw this little muffler. We got a small exhaust outlet here. Uh, what am I talking about? Uh, the, the pressure, pressure, pressure valve. Yeah, sorry for the mumbling, but you know, gotta hold the phone here. So normal style of exhaust, manifold, whatever, it's little, kind of looks like a old Kyosho sickening exhaust to me. Let's continue. Okay, how's the lighting? Is the lighting okay, guys? You let me know. If not, Scott Steiner's gonna come in here and hold up a light for us. All right, so we have a complete fuel tank. This looks like a regular fuel tank that you can get with like an HPI 15 style engine, which is in terms of capacity, Thanks, Nitro Freak, for the lighting comment. In terms of capacity, I would say this is a very sufficient fuel tank. Now, considering this is a generator, you know, you'll probably have to keep an eye on it. But the fuel tank is good. We have good, clear fuel lines. Uh, I appreciate the fact that they used clear fuel lines. Now, what about the spring? How's the spring? Okay, the spring is pretty sickening. It's very sickening. Uh, I'm actually having to, uh, you could use this as a weightlifting for, you, for your finger. It's that sickening, the spring. All right, okay, let's continue. So we're gonna put all the parts here and then we're just going to keep opening them. Let me uh, put them here, a little better lighting. Okay, now packaging is pretty serious. This is just more packaging. And it looks like we're getting to the goodies right now. And you know what, honestly, I don't like using the word goodies. That, that word is pretty sickening. I don't like it that much. Okay, so let's do this. We're gonna take out things We'll do the motor probably last. This looks like the electric generator itself. I could see the, the belt that it comes with, which is basically an O-ring, right? So you would stick, what's up, Manny Nitro, how you doing? Um, so it looks like, yeah, so this is gonna be powering, the Nitro motor will probably be connected with uh, this big O-ring, which is a belt, kind of like a serpentine belt in a car, right? It'll be connected to this, and ba-boom, you're gonna have some electricity. What's up, old and slow? We're just looking at this nitro generator, okay? So, yeah, we have the actual parts shown here on the box. So we're taking them out all one at a time. Um, this is very interesting to me, okay? Uh, by the way, guys, how is the quality of the stream? It should be 720 resolution. So this looks like obviously a battery, a lithium ion battery. I will call this, there's no title on this, but when you have these two individual cells, that are like, um, you know, kind of look like batteries. These are lithium ion. They have a JST plug and a regular balance port. So I think this is gonna be for the electric start because this is supposed to be, um, 
you know, uh, an electric start system. Okay, so we're gonna put it to the side here. You know what, I'm going to put it separately as we unbox it. Okay, here we go. Now, there's a lot of stuff here. This is a charger for the lithium ion battery. Yeah, I could see the balance port right over here. I'm gonna put that to the side. Now here we have, this looks like a base. So this entire unit, well, almost fell. This entire unit will be built on this aluminum base mechanism. So it looks like obviously, you know, kind of like a C channel design, right? I don't know what you call this in the, in the engineering field. Maybe you guys know, um, not a C channel, but some kind of channel something. So basically you just have a mounting bracket. We're gonna put it to the side, not that interesting. So this is what it looks like on the picture itself, right? Okay, there it is. He yeah, it could be a heat sink, Pyrotony. It could be. Okay, let's continue. Man, there's a lot of there's a lot of things in here, huh? This is this looks like a digital LCD. No LED. What's up, Max? Great. How you doing? Oh man, hard to open things with one hand. Anyways, this looks like a readout, probably an amperage readout or maybe something else. I don't know, but I could see. Um, it's supposed to have numbers on the back. What's up, Shay? Nitro in my veins. How you doing, bro? We're gonna... Yeah, it looks like this needs to be soldered right over here. But we got ourselves some electronics. Okay, so we're gonna put it to the side. We'll, we'll take a look at these parts individually also in a little bit. What's this? Okay, this is just packaging material. Now, we're getting to the interesting part. Are you guys ready for the motor? Well, there it is, baby. Oh, I see the probably the the flywheel here so it could generate um a proper momentum okay so here it goes now do you guys want me oh no hold on we're, we're gonna take a look at this in a second hold up guys so what's this this is uh engine mounts and engine mounts and an exhaust gasket right and just some hardware okay so pretty cool uh we'll 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 take a look at it later I got to say, for the amount I paid, about 150 with tax and shipping, you get a lot of stuff. I mean, you got to understand. This is a freaking nitro generator, okay, with a bunch of crap. So let's, um, you guys want me to open the bubble wrap right here? We could open up the bubble wrap. So let me see. I'm going to uh, change the camera a little bit. Let me put it over here for now, and we're going to do it together. We're going to open it up like I said I would. All right. So basically, there's nothing else in this box. I'm gonna put all of this stuff in here so we have a little bit of table space. What do you guys think about that? Live nitro generator unboxing, I wanna say. I bought all of this with the Nitro Gang donated funds from the channel members and from all of the previous donations, okay? And thank you guys, thank you so much. Um, we're making nitro great again, no matter how you call it. All right, so this is, This is the motor itself. Let's see, I see a whole bunch of JST. Yeah, there's a JST connector sticking out here from the side with a power switch also. So we got a power switch and... Okay. Yeah, old and slow says more parts to assemble. Yeah, there's the, I'm gonna have to read, there's no instruction manual here, okay? I was actually hoping for an instruction manual, but there isn't one. I'm gonna check the listing in a little bit. Maybe there is one in the listing, but I really, really doubt it. Okay, so we're gonna open this up together, guys. Are you ready? We're about to make this Nitro Gang history. All right. Whoa! All right, so there's also a bunch of electronics here, I see. This looks like uh, maybe capacitors inside, I think. This looks like some kind of capacitors inside. Yeah, picture manual. So nothing else in here. So the wrapping is very, very good. All right, so this is what we got. Let's do a close-up view um, of this. So on top here, notice, what does it say on top right over there on a cooling head? Nitro XRC. It's exactly the same motor that's in this Nitro RC right over here. It's the same exact logo, the same cooling head. I mean, this is truly sickening. Um, one of the reasons I actually wanted to buy this, we got a question here from Sarah Matthews. She goes, what size is this? So this is a 0.15, 0 
which is exactly what this is and exactly the same displacement as obviously the 15FE from HPI. This is probably exactly the same Toki motor, okay? Now, let me um, look at it myself here. Oh man, it's pretty sickening. I, I already see a, a little bit of oil here on this big flywheel. So it looks like this electric motor will eventually be connected, right? There's a, a, a pulley here, a groove, a groove that's cut out. It will be connected to this and it's gonna be spinning. So yes, Pyrotoni says that's a fat flywheel. So this flywheel is not lightened. It's not the lightweight hardcore racing flywheel. It's not the HPI racing upgraded aluminum flywheel. This is the Nitro Gang Nitro Generator flywheel, right? So let's, uh, I'm going to put it down and we'll look it over up close once again, as we just did with uh, a better quality camera here. So now we're doing a close up view. So what do we got here, guys? Let me, uh, adjust the lights a little bit actually so it looks like the rear now as the listing said we have electric start so this is basically like the traxxas easy start system you have an electric motor connected to the back with uh pretty serious metal gears you know th these are serious metal gears right no plastic easy start gears at all yes electric start max grid that's right bro um i can see the assembly seems to be adequate. This is the ground wire right over here. Oh, hold up, guys. I need to uh, adjust the lights a little bit. One second. All right. All right. That should be adequate now. Okay. So now it has a composite carb, which is a single needle carb, which I'm actually quite happy about. You know, personally, I like single needle carbs, and it looks like a giant knob here to adjust it, right? Um, no low speed setting on this carb because, you know, this is not a nitro RC car. You want this thing to perform at a constant RPM. What's up, body warm Bobby? How you doing, my dude? How you doing? Okay, let's uh, go over here, actually. Now, through the exhaust port, I could see that the piston is kind of all the way at the top not very good you know maybe we'll try to move it i don't know um you really can't tell much about the carb it's, it, it's a carb you know uh fat fat freaking flywheel right over here it looks like it has some kind of centering machine groove right here probably uh for balancing i don't know maybe during the manufacturing process um i could see pretty you know typical bearings there the on the crankshaft yeah Thanks, Online Hobby Guy, for that thumbs up, bro. I appreciate you always trying to support the Nitro Gang over here. Um, adequate cooling, you know, it comes with a glow plug. That's already something that I can say uh, is a benefit over brand new dynamite engines. Brand new dynamite engines don't even come with glow plugs. I mean, it's truly sickening. Okay, so let's see um, if we can move the flywheel a little bit. Uh, oh, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's check out how big the carb inventory is. Oh man, this is actually a little interesting. So this has, yeah, the rotary carb. Yeah, I could open up the rotary carb like this. Actually quite sickening. Very, very smooth. I gotta say for the price, th th this is quite good. Yeah, so this motor, you know, it it's as simple as possible, right? Now keep in mind, I have to basically read on how to assemble all of this. There's a lot of parts here, but it will be built onto, um, onto this metal bracket, right? Nitro XRC, baby. Remote start. You basically have two motors that it comes with and a nitro motor. All for a fairly good price. Okay, let's see if we can move the flywheel here. Um, I gotta move the phone a little bit once again. Hold up, guys. Hold up a second. Okay. Move this. All right. So, let's see what we got here. I've uh, adjusted some of the lighting. So, here it goes. Let's see if, because uh, basically we have, uh, yeah, uh, Nitro Freak here with a question. He goes, will you do, what will you do as far as a break-in? 
you know, I'm going to treat this like a regular motor. We'll just run it at like a lower RPM. Like we're going to read the instructions on like, you know, cause there's like amperage and power ratings. Basically, I think this generates like um, one to two amps at peak RPM. Now to charge a cell phone, you need basically one amp. Okay. Now the question is whether the power conversion, I don't know, you know, there's, there's like on and off switches. Okay. Um, wh whether this will, you know, th there's really not much information because basically all Chinese. Okay. They leave you up to yourself. They leave it, they leave it up to you to figure it out. And, uh, that's the risk you take. <laughs> all right. So let's see if we can move the drive shaft, uh, you know, the, the, the flywheel here. Oh yeah, we got, okay, check this out guys, I'm gonna move the lights. You're gonna get a look inside the exhaust port right now. Oh, that's actually kind of hard to see. Well, oh, compression is very sickening. Okay, so I'm basically moving this. You know what, I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in this. But I, you know what? I'm going to give you another view, a much better view. So I bet you want to know, does this come with oil already in there, right? Well, we're going to take a look inside. So we're looking at the exhaust port right now. So this is a very good view with good lighting. You guys should be able to clearly see. There is a lot of oil film, film, film like uh, film strength, right? What, what is the proper word, man? It's kind of hot in here and I'm kind of just getting over a cold and I'm hungry. I need Taco Bell so I can't talk that straight. So we got um, pretty much a lot of uh, uh, oil here through the exhaust port on top. Uh, the casting of the cylinder and, and motors is quite good. Notice that the globe, the, the cooling head here, what is that, a screw? Yeah, so you have three screws holding down the cooling head. So that's why you have this cutout. Right, so there's basically three different screws holding down the top, uh, well, the entire cooling head. Yeah, so basically, here we go. It's, it's pretty moist in there, somebody just said, that's right. Very, very freaking moist in there. So, uh, carburetor, not something I've really ever seen before. But theoretically, this should be the same exact engine as the one in this Nitro XRC, right? If you look at it, it, this is the same exact engine. Like as pictured, you see this cutout? Um, except obviously this is made for a road car and this is, you know, a generator. So they have completely different purposes. Um, Bubbles RC Shed. He goes, I love your enthusiasm, man. Thank you, my dude. He goes, reminds me of an Italian from New York. Great stuff. Well, I am from New York, but I am not Italian. Okay. But basically 90% of my ex-girlfriends are Italian. So does that make me one by association through reverse osmosis or through direct contact? You got to ask yourself that question. Okay, let's um, put a little bit of oil maybe. No, you know what? I'm not, I'm not going to mess with it. it, it it's, it's quite oily inside. So I'm going to save this for something else. Like, you know, there will be a build video. Clearly, I cannot build this right now, right? Because I am only one man of the Nitro Gang right now. Okay, Kevin Trappen says, you are what you snack. <laughs> That's right, direct contact. Uh, I guess you guys are liking my jokes. Okay, so it's quite adequate, man. Uh, for the money, I, I will consider this a very cool, cool little project, you know. We're going to be hooking this thing up. Like, there's no way around it. We could honestly now call this an actual hybrid generator. Because think about it. This is using an internal combustion engine to run an electric motor to output power. This is a freaking Prius, okay? And you guys know, I'm a big fat Prius lover, okay? Yeah, that's right. Low speed needle is too lean. <laughs> so this thing, it, it, it's a single needle. There is no low speed. This looks just like a barrel holding thing. This doesn't look like it's an adjustable thing. There's only one high speed on this. Yeah, I, I would assume that this is very similar to Nitro XRC. Let's see, we're gonna go back to the listing on this uh, item right here. So this is the actual listing that we just talked about, right? So we can look at right over here. 
So it says, this generator set can be used for household emergency lighting. Yeah, my ass, maybe small LED lighting. Uh, okay, so the current output is about 1,000 milliamps. So that means one amp, okay? With the regulator, the throttle is also 12.6 volts. So it's saying it could output a max of 12.6 volts at one amp. Uh, and that's assuming you're at 17,000 RPM, of course, which is, you know, the red line of this kind of motor. Um, so, yeah. So, uh, you know, I, I would say this is a cool project. I'm happy with my purchase. You know, whenever I spend the Nitro Gang funds, I, I try to make sure that everyone will enjoy whatever I purchased. And th this is one of those items that I bought like a very long time ago. So do you guys want a, a little look around this box once again? Let me turn it in its normal operating position. Oh, what's this? We got ourselves some Schumacher Thunder Tiger motors and bags. Yeah, we don't play around. We, we don't play around. Whoa! Stuff falling, guys, my bad. Okay, hold up. Okay. So once again, you know, I, I talked about this Nitro before, but for those of you that might not have seen it, this is a uh, about a 2008 Nitro XRC, and it's exactly the same motor that we have right over here that we're looking at, guys. So you pretty much have uh, a lot of cool stuff going on, okay? A lot of cool stuff. So they say, run, refuel and run. There it is, the motor. So this is brand new, in box, never taken out. Check this out. Even has this original plastic little thing around the body. This was like 160 bucks, obviously no foam in the tires. We have rear wheel drive only. We even have this original little thing where they tell you, don't forget you piece of crap, you need this for all of this, okay? That's right, Rob Rain goes the ice ride. Basically, yes, they, they <laughs> Yeah, I was only able to find one of these on all of eBay, guys. Just one. And I think I paid about 150 for it also, which, which is basically what they were brand new, right? So it comes with a radio. It comes also with its own drill start, uh, roto start, I guess you would call it, with a glow igniter. So this actually has its own glow driver. We have a fuel tank. They call this the innovative fuel system. Now, when you open it, basically you have like a nipple over there. I guess you need a fuel bottle to press down on it. It looks like you press this and then fuel will, will actually go on there, right? So check this out. This is the original motor that this one has. It says, notice, uh, what does that say? Note, intake must something adjusted prior to starting. Uh, anyway, we're not gonna read it. But notice the carb high-speed needle valve. It's exactly, as, as I show you right here, it's exactly the same. Do you see that? The top of the high-speed needle valve, it's identical. Nitro, XRC. You see that on the cooling head? You could see it right over here, Nitro XRC. This is some serious um, Nitro Gang material. You know, no one's ever really gonna show you this kind of stuff, guys. Now, let me go around this side and we'll take a look at the front of the box, okay? What do you think about that Nitro Gang? So, let's adjust the lights. I appreciate all of you guys being here. Oh. Oh, that's just some stuff I have under the table, okay? Uh, from previous videos. That's the 112 scale Nitro Scoot, RC10GT, Kyosho Fox, and on the bottom, we have a Megatech Nitro Razor, okay? So let's take a continued look at this. So the front of the bumper is super toy-like, right? Because kids like giant bumpers. Right? It's kind of like the design of 1970s automobiles where they thought a super heavy Cadillac would save your life. Today, it turns out their thinking was dumb. All right. So let's, let's go to this side. What do we have on this side? So we have some specs um, of this particular truck. So this is actually quite cool. You know, while people are reviewing electric crawlers, we have brand new 2008 boxed RCs that are brand new. You know, this is why I love this hobby. There's always something interesting. Even when you think you know it all, there's always something interesting, my guys. So let's go back to this right here. Um, the motor, right, blah, blah, fueled by ice. Man, this, this is my best, I think, funniest statement I've ever seen, fueled by ice. 
hold on, powered by ice, internal combustion engine, of course. Uh, we have heavy duty spring shocks. We have ultra durable chassis. We have what they call the innovative fuel systems system. Okay, so this, this is actually quite interesting. Uh, I'm going to read this for you guys, right? So it says, includes transmitter, glow plug igniter, electronic starter, and fully assembled Nitro Evolution MT truck. All you need is Wildcat fuel for Nitro XRC with unique fuel delivery system and the Nitro XRC power pack, each sold separately. So um, I do have the XRC power pack, which is basically like a battery for, you know, the, the remote stuff, for the, the, you know, whatever that crap is, right? But basically fueled by ice. Now, if you guys come, come up with something else in life fueled by ice other than drug addicts on Skid Row, I will be very interested to know what else could be fueled by ice. But as of now, this is the only ice fueled item that we have, okay? So there was actually another model of this. If you look at this one, this is called the Ricochet. Now, I wish I had the Ricochet. So the difference with the Ricochet is um, it was, if you look at the wheels, you could tell the wheel is above the body and below the body and in front of the body. So it could drive on any side, upside down, it doesn't even matter. Now, if you look really close up, guys, check this out. There's a blue body on the bottom. Well, that's because it actually had two bodies, one on top, one on the bottom. So no matter how you drove, if you drove it into a wall, it will just flip upside down and drive on its, uh, on its back. Like literally, it, it's incredible, okay? So it says engine, XRC 2.5 racing engine powered by ice. Yep, yep, ice baby right over here, ice, ice baby. So pretty much, you cannot kill a nitro. And these are just some of my motors I'm working on right now. Thunder Tiger, three-speed baby, okay? Uh, the 15 FE, which is basically exactly the same engine that these things have, all right? And uh, some, some parts that, you know, we're gonna do this later. So guys, what do you think about that? That's what I gotta say. Now let me go to some of your comments and we will see what you actually think about that, okay? Yeah. Ribbed racing tires for your pleasure. Pretty much you're 100% right on. Actually, the whole RC industry loves doing ribbed everything. You know, uh, the Paris ribbed racing pipes, they are super ribbed, okay? Um, yeah, packed studio today, says Sean Stabsky. That's right, man. You know, thing is, uh, I've stockpiled a lot of highly related items. So that is actually what is going on. Um, so... We got ourselves a nitro generator. I, I will be building it, obviously, but not right now. Let's go to um, whether, let's go see whether we have a manual to this. I'm not sure. So it basically says right here, this is a DIY kit. I mean, yes, I understand that. I mean, obviously it's a DIY kit. So yeah, it does not look like there's a manual to, to this. So I'm looking at it. But, you know, you should be able to figure this out. It's not freaking rocket science. And if it was, then probably uh, Tesla would sue you. Okay? So, we're going to get this going no matter what. Let me go back to over here. Okay, this is us, guys. So, uh, yeah, the Bug 404 here with a good point. He goes, that Toki engine doesn't have a removable sleeve. It's very different. Yes. Um, I do remember reading that somewhere, actually. I, I should have mentioned that. These do not have, these are kind of like gas engines. So in a gas engine, right, in a two-stroke gas engine, there really is no removable sleeve like you would have in a nitro. There's just, you know, this whole portion sits on top of it. And then you got yourself a piston moving inside that 